Hello everybody, Timothy Bailey with Project Learn and our video for today. Well, today I thought we would look at American culture. We've looked at some elements of American culture before. We looked at the great summer campfire snack s'mores. We've looked at voting. We've looked at the sort of myths about what Americans are like on TV and in movies. I thought today we would begin with part one of a two-part videos about American culture in general, right? Let's go ahead and get started. So I want to fill in this sentence here. America is a blank and blank country. And I got some pictures here. Here we can see this shark, an elephant. And think of adjectives, right? We're describing the country, America the country. So we need two adjectives. Something that goes with all of these pictures, this guy, the elephant, this goldfish, and this dog. All of four of these are large, right? Immense, large, enormous, gigantic. We have a lot of adjectives for that, right? So America is a large country. There are many large countries. China's large. Uh, Mexico's large, Canada's large, right? Uh, Russia is large. Okay, America is one of a number of very large countries. What does this picture tell us? Here's a group of people. Look at them in the picture. Do they all look the same? Do they look different? How are they different? I hope you said they are different, right? The people in the picture don't all look the same. There are men, there are women, there are uh, African Americans, there are Caucasians, which is another word for white, right? Uh, looks like there are some Hispanic folks, right? What is a word we have, right? An adjective for uh, a group of things, particularly people, uh, that is not all the same. You might know the word diverse right? Diverse. So America is a large and diverse country, right? And this is true for some other countries, right? More or less, right? China has a lot of other groups other than Han Chinese, although Han Chinese do make up most of the population, right? And some small countries have a lot of diversity, right? England has a lot of diversity in it, right? So America, large and diverse, made up of many different groups or kinds of people. So Americans come in many different, right? So because America for so long has been, well, it's always been a large country, right? Uh, but because it's been diverse for so long, we also come in many different, what do you think this is? Many different races, right? So Caucasian and African American and Asian. What are these? Do you know? Many different religions, right? We also have many different languages, right? While well, most or uh, the largest language is English, right? Um, the United States does not have an official language, right? So English, helpful, right, to do the things you need to do when living in an English-speaking country. There are people who come here uh, and speak other languages as well. And the last one, with the many different people that come here or whose ancestors have come here, there are also many different cultures. Why is this important? Well, for one reason, it makes talking about American culture a little more different than talking about the culture of other countries, uh, countries that are smaller or less diverse, right? So the things that I'm going to look at today in this video and the next video tomorrow, uh, you may see many of them when you go out uh, into American society, when you meet people, and some of them may be different from what your other American friends or family uh, experience. Okay. Americans typically, uh, from a very early age, like to be what? We're going to look at two words here. So look at the picture. 
right? We have two groups. We have the group here, right? All uh, sort of silhouettes or shapes of people, right? All black here. And we have this green guy here, right? So we have the same and we have different. Right. One aspect of being the same and being different uh, is being independent, right? So independent isn't necessarily about uh, how you look, like wearing different clothes, for example, but being able to do things on your own. So children at a young age are often taught how to do things on their own, how to pack their book bag for school, how to feed themselves, how to uh, clean their room and things like this. Now, in a similar way, we do have something based more on appearance. Look at all of these. I believe they're little Lego guys. All of these look different. I don't see any of them that look the same. So in terms of uh, appearance, our clothing, uh, the things that we wear, our accessories, right? Even sometimes our actions or behaviors, we also like to be very unique, right? Unique. Right, so unique means sort of standing out, right, from the rest of a group, right, being special somehow, right. Independent and unique, typically uh, positive adjectives, right, to be independent, to be unique, usually thought of as something good, right. So many Americans like to be both of these. In terms of American food culture, one of the things you may have noticed in the country where you come from, right? Uh, it's sort of spreading around the world. And certainly when you got here, uh, often, but not always, keep in mind, right? Uh, the food that we eat, the food lifestyle that we have is very unhealthy. So you may have noticed different from visiting other countries that many Americans, right? Are getting quite large right uh, if you fly from another country and you fly into Canada or the United States you begin to see people of a larger weight right than you do in many other countries right pictures such as this you just don't see them uh, or I did not see them when I was in uh, Korea or uh, Germany or China right now, of course, there's nothing wrong with being big, right? Uh, the word we often use, uh, this word, fat, right, is a negative word. So we don't want to use uh, this word here, right? However, there is an important issue, right? There is a difference between this word and this word, right? For example, I am a little fat, right? I do not exercise enough, and sometimes I eat, uh, my wife tells me, too many snacks, right? Too much candy. However, this, right, you can still be healthy, right, uh, so long as you're active or you're still doing other things. This is more of a medical word here, obese. And obese means sort of fat, but in a very unhealthy way. Your doctor may have told you, right, you must do this uh, or you will have medical problems. You will have this happen, right? Uh, so the two different words, if you ever see them, right, a fat is a negative word for being big, right? What I am. Obese is something that the doctor has told you, right? Uh, so this is a very medical issue that you have. Now, the reason for this, right? This is happening because of what you have probably seen a lot of. The fast food, right? That many people eat, right? Keep in mind that these are not the only reasons. There are biological reasons. There are many other reasons for this. Uh, but for many Americans, such as myself, right, uh, I spent a long time eating food such as this. Here's my snacks, I told you, right? So potato chips. And then often, right, uh, lying around, being a couch potato, if you've heard the idiom, a couch potato sitting around watching TV, right, not being active. Right. And you can see this in other countries. America is not alone. Young people, when I was in Korea, South Korea, were spending a lot of time eating food like this and a lot of time not being active, but going to uh, video game rooms 
and spending all day playing video games, right? So doing the same thing as here, right? So not strictly an American issue, uh, but you do see it a lot. Personal space, right? This is different from culture to culture, country to country, right? This idea of personal space, some cultures, right? Very little, some a lot. Another idiom you might hear for this is elbow room, right? Elbow room. This is your elbow. And you can think of the room you need, right, to move your elbows around, right? Here's a good picture. So there's a boy and a girl here. Looks like they're in a classroom. This is sort of her personal space, and this is his personal space. And in general, we do not uh, enter another person's personal space unless, of course, right, they are family or an intimate person, your girlfriend or husband or wife, right, mother, father. And you can see that in this chart, right? Where these two students are is somewhere out here, right? Just the social space where friends might be uh, or classmates or coworkers or strangers that you don't know when you're in society, right? Farther out, of course, is the audience zone, right? For people who are very distant, who you just might be speaking to, right? Who don't need to be this close. And then we go closer and closer to uh, sort of importance for you. So friend zone and intimate zone, right? This is intimate means very close, such as your uh, husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, right? So again, very different from culture to culture, right? Some cultures, the friend zone can be a lot closer, even the social zone, right? Depending on the people. In America, in general, though, we don't approach this space unless we are one of these people, usually. So American clothing, right? Um, <clears throat> very casual, a little bit different than traditional clothing uh, in other countries. The man here you can see, right, just wearing a nice button-up shirt, a pair of jeans, right, I think internationally jeans are the number one american clothing right that people might think of one of them right the t-shirt another one right so a t-shirt and jeans if i had to say what is the modern sort of uh traditional clothing for americans uh it's certainly t-shirt and jeans right i would think mm. Baseball cap is another one. So when Amer or when people think of Americans, for example, uh, they often think of people wearing a baseball cap and sunglasses as the man is here, right? So two big accessories. Accessories are things that go with what you're wearing uh, that you add on like jewelry and rings and bracelets. The baseball cap and the sunglasses are big. Another thing not every culture has, right? Many Americans are growing to love and appreciate tattoos. In the past, this was not always so. In the past, people who got tattoos were often thought of as being somehow bad people. Stay away from this man. He has a tattoo. Uh, but now you see professors, you see doctors, you see uh, all kinds of people who might have tattoos. Right Now, where you get your tattoo, a tattoo on the face, for example, um, not as popular, right? But many Americans do somewhere, even if they hide it, such as an elementary school teacher, might have a tattoo. To go with the tattoos, we also have, oh, here's another tattoo I forgot. We also have piercings, right? Piercing. To pierce is to put a hole through something, right? So we have earrings and variety of things. Nowadays, both for men and women, all kinds, right? In your ear, in your nose, in your lip. You might even see some that are still a little bit strange for some people, right? Such as this, where they've expanded their ear, right? All right, that ends our part one. Next time we will continue on with part two and we will continue looking at what American culture is in a very general sense. Thank you and have a great day.